Hey everybody, Spine Ticks Pressing here, and I've got an important book that's a real big key to me. This is one that I've been looking for, and I'm going to actually take this one from start to finish. So we're going to go from unboxing to cleaning, pressing, and all the way to the final product of Slab CGC book. So this is going to be a case study, so stay tuned. Let's find out what book it is, and let's go through the process. <music> And this is a book that is one that I have been wanting to find for quite a while. I just attended a show in just north of San Antonio, Texas, and I saw this book. Now, it was a direct edition, and it was a beautiful copy, beautiful, beautiful copy. I think it was definitely a 9-8 candidate, and the seller wanted $150 for it and I could have got it but I decided not to because I wanted to hold out for a newsstand copy. This book I think came out in like 1982. So what I really wanted to wanted to find was a high grade copy in a newsstand. And I might have found one. And I uh, I also wanted to beat that price cuz I just feel that right now the prices for online books, for books that you can get on the internet, are way, way lower than you can get them in person or in an LCS. And uh, I could be wrong. This might have been a poor gamble. But let's see. Let's see what, what's going to be the fun of this. We're going to go from start to finish, from reveal, and I'm going to include this one in my next submission. So I should get it back relatively soon. And we're going to, in this video, just hang on to the very end, we're gonna show, we're gonna show what this book comes back as. All right, so a little, I guess this isn't too bad. I don't mind that. I kind of thought at first it was a, thought at first that it was in a Gemini mailer, but it's not. It's packed in here pretty tight. The only thing I don't like about this way of packing is it's, I'm always so nervous cutting the tape. You're always afraid you're gonna cut the book because you just can't see the book. So maybe let me see if I can, no, I just can't do it. Can't. Just can't, let's just try to do it at an angle. Try to cut it at an angle and maybe that'll, not my preferred method here. I really need my super blade. One more. Let's try one more here. I'm gonna go slow. Try to get it underneath. There we go. Got that one. Just looking at it from the top and bottom. This side, the book is much further down, so I'm not gonna hit it. I cut the top. This is definitely not a clinic on how to cut open a box. But I will say, I will give this to the seller. They did a, a, a real nice job of protecting this book for me. So I am much appreciative of that. Okay, so I see the book. It is laying flat. I guess they're going to make me cut this top edge. Really don't want to do. Okay. One more to go. Almost done. There we go. I don't know if I revealed it, but here is the big reveal. Let's see if I got the right side up. Nope, got it upside down. So here's the book. Uh, this is a character that I am very high on. I think I've said in the past, I really like this character a lot. And so I wanted to try to find their first appearance. Now this is the first cameo appearance of this particular character, but it seems to be holding up because... Uh, 
the market seems to indicate that this is the this is the one to get. So what I purchased was Batman 357 it is the first appearance of Jason Todd and I think it's actually a first cameo, but I think CGC is putting on the labels of this book, calling it first first full appearance of Jason Todd and Killer and Killer Croc. So there it is. Uh, just from first glances, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it, this one, this does seem to be a pretty nice copy of it. And how am I going to get this out? Oh, they did, look at the taped. They used like, man. They did not make this easy on me. All right, so what I really want to determine right now is the corners, if they are at all salvageable, and how sharp they are. Or how blunted they are. Um, not too bad. Um, the top corner is much, much crisper than the bottom one. So I, I see a little bit of fold down. That corner, the top, this top corner is going to come back beautifully. So, yeah, this might have been a good gamble. We'll see. Um... Like I say, just some um, the major issues I see on this front. Obviously, there's a little bit of a miswrap because a lot of this white is coming over. I kind of prefer the way that looks, but the book is not it's not exactly centered. But I'm not going to complain because it is a, a newsstand and they're difficult to get in reasonably good condition. Um, spine tick here, barely color breaking. This one, uh, there's an issue. It's right on the top of the staple, so it looks like it's top staple damage or some kind of a you know binding issue. I don't know. It doesn't look bad. There's a little, very tiny color-breaking tick there. So all in all, I mean, in terms of spine stress, the book looks pretty good. So I'm going to flip it. Got some really firm cardboard here, backer board. I'll slide it off and flip the book over while it's somewhat supported. That was a very good flip. And let's take a look at the back. Okay, the back corners look fantastic. This corner looks fantastic. Now there is uh, kind of like the, the cut code. I think that's how the sensor determines what to cut. cut. And there's a little bend on that top corner. It's ever so slightly color breaking, but it's like really difficult to, I mean, really, really difficult to know, to tell. Uh, spine is dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. It's difficult for me to tell. I, I really, my gut tells me this is book, this book has not been pressed. I really don't think it has. I, I'm just seeing too many little indentations, too many little mini creases but it it was kept in wonderful shape wonderful wonderful condition so all right so i'm going to start working on it with the cleaning and uh, what this book is going to need is a, a pretty thorough cleaning of the back picking up all this dirt along the whites in this area here uh, not too bad on the bottom but around, along the bottom and then uh, I'll work on this little area right here. My guess is this will probably come right off with a little bit of white eraser work. Obviously, the book needs to be pressed. I'm going to probably give it a little bit of moisture before pressing it. Let's flip it back over. And in terms of the front cover, I think all the defects on the front cover will come back out with a press. Like, I think these corners will look much sharper. And some of the little slight indentations and folds will come out. The one that is the most noticeable to me is there's a long one right here. I'm sure you cannot see it, but there's, there's a little bit of a long one there. And I've had some difficulty with those in the past. So, But I, I think that's it's, it's not very deep, so I think it will come out. I'm looking for fingerprints, anything like that. I don't see anything, any issues, any defects stains nothing 
All right, so this one I think was a good pickup. Uh, what did I pay for this? I paid $85 plus the tax and shipping, so it came to right around $100. So I think to me this makes a lot of sense, much more sense to purchase this book at a new, you know, with a newsstand copy in relatively high grade. I still don't think this copy was in as good a condition as the one that I saw at the show for 150, but you know, I'm saving $50. I'm saving $50 and I'm adding uh, a new stand copy. So let's see what I can do in terms of the cleaning and the pressing uh, to bring this one up to par for the submission. So stay tuned.
Taking the book out. It's been in there for over 30 hours in the press. So now I'm going to move it from here over to there. Sliding it over. And the top. Looks fantastic. Tell you what, it sure does pay to leave it in that press for as long as you can. I am looking for flaws on this and I am not seeing anything. Spine looks pretty good. A couple issues where I had prior spine stress. Staples look fine. They didn't recess on me. Let's take out some of the uh, pack. Now this particular book has an Atari insert, which is like an advertisement in the center, in the center fold. And I just put one sheet of line paper in front and behind it. And then obviously in the middle of the Atari insert was the backer board. That's not cooperating very well. Okay, there's the other sheet. Let's take out the back of board from the bottom. And the one that was challenging me a little bit was the center board. There we go, got that one out. I'm gonna use the center board as the back. And man, it looks really, really nice. Both, I'm just looking over for any flaws. All the creases that I had in it prior are gone. So I have to do. Just try to minimize any type of spine stress. Okay. And turn it around. Yeah, pretty looks pretty good. Back cleaned up nicely. A lot of the grime that I had along the spine is gone. Corners look sharp. Everything looks pretty sharp. Book looks good. All right, so this one is a wrap. It's going to go into the bag. Uh, the question right now is, what do I predict it will grade at? So let me think for a second. Well, the book came out fantastic. I'm very happy with it. There were some defects that I could not repair. There were uh, probably about two color breaking, very small spine stress lines near the top staple and on the front. And on the back, there was a, a little fingerprint smudge with some ink, and I couldn't remove that. So I'm going to predict this book's going to come back between an 8 and a 9 -0. All right, everybody, here it is. The book is back from CGC. Fantastic. You can see right up here. Stay tuned. I'll have some close-ups of the book in the slab. First full appearance of Killer Croc, Waylon Jones, and Jason Todd. Uh, Atari insert is included, and they've uh, acknowledged it as a newsstand edition, so that's fantastic. I'm very happy with this book. And are you ready? You've just seen the prediction of the grade, and now the grade of the book that you've been waiting for is a 9.2 with white pages. Man, that's exciting. I'm so stoked. Uh, you know, I did do a um, heat overlay press treatment on the back. I felt that the back was not uh, white enough for my liking. Um, there was, I think, a little bit of shadow, maybe a little dust shadow down here. Uh, there is a little smudge that does look a little bit like a fingerprint. I'm not sure I wasn't able to get it off. And let's see what else. And then on the front here near this staple. And I, I really was able to bring the damaged area up. In the sense that sometimes when you get a, a really deep spine stress line, uh, color breaking or not, it'll it'll kind of dig in a little bit. It'll kind of make like a little V, like a little valley. So I was able to bring it up and make it uniform, but you still can see right there 
and uh, right there above the staple, you can still still see some press uh, spine stress lines. I'm really happy with it. Um, I think a 9.2 is phenomenal. I think I predicted a much lower, I think between an 8, an 8.0 and a 9.0 for this book. And it came out, uh, it came out higher. Uh, I am so stoked to have this book and add this book to my collection. Uh, a beautiful newsstand copy of the first appearance of Jason Todd. So uh, this is a great one. It's going to go up on the wall. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, I've got more videos like this coming. I even have old videos that you can go back and take a look at. So sub please subscribe to my channel. Please give me your feedback. I'd love to see feedback. I don't get a whole lot. I would love to see more feedback. If there are any key books you want me to try to go out and, and track down and get, uh, I'd be happy to do that. And uh, I just want to thank you for being here and uh, supporting my channel and supporting this comic journey. So thanks for checking this out. It was a big win. A uh, Batman 357 new stand edition. It's now a 9.2. So I'm so happy to have this book in my collection and uh, just beautifully uh, I'm very very happy with the, uh, the way this book looks it looks beautiful in this lab thanks for being here please hit that like button and as always happy hunting